Hello, it's my pleasure to introduce Larry Cavini, an artist, and I'm going to let him explain to you what he does, where he's located, um, and he has some beautiful artwork here, and I'll pan around the building just to see it, but it's a great show. I invite everybody to come out, and it's at the Space Gallery in Pomona, and the Pomona Arts Gallery. And Larry, I'm just going to let you take it away, basically, um, your name and yeah, okay. how you got started. Yeah. And just just let me know. Uh, my name's Larry Cavini, and uh, I got started back into painting about two and a half years ago. Up to that stage, I was doing a lot of performance art and uh, also curating shows in my garage gallery in San Diego, California. And through the course of finishing up all the curatorial stuff, the shows, which would range from sound art to erotica art, uh, I took the space back over and started making a painting a day. So I've made a painting a day for about two and a half years now, except for today, which I've been on the road. And, uh, and it's, the, uh, it's a combination of things, a combination of pop art, you know, history, superheroes, you know, things I enjoy, uh, history, the histories I enjoy. Sometimes, you know, my main audience is Facebook, so sometimes I'll just make a request asking people what they want me to paint, and I'll make that, you know, and I'll, I'll paint that, and uh, primarily it's selling off of Facebook, you know, and social media, using that, which is a unique experience because it's a uh, leveling field of you know, things where uh, there's something for everybody, and there's an audience for everybody as well, based on the whole idea of that mass population of social media. So I always keep my friendship, friends in Facebook Max style, which is my audience, and I'm always pretty honest about my intent, which is to sell work. And uh, so it's, you know, it's went from there. But the work itself is a combination of uh, things I've learned in silk screening, and things I've learned in painting. Um, so you'll see probably some references to Francis Bacon's approach to painting the idea of chance, you know, the idea of incorporating chance into a process. And uh, and also definitely Andy Warhol, you know, using uh, you know, popular icons, whether it's a critique on that icon or uh, perhaps a homage to that icon, and go either direction, you know, based on how much, I guess, deconstruction within the image that you see. Okay. And, and Larry, my question is, how did you get started in this? What was your inspiration? Um, I, I was making videos of these old white guys dancing in their skivvies, with cowboy boots, and it went viral, and I ended up showing all over Eastern Europe. And I started taking stills from that, those videos and, and making paintings from those. And then over a period of time, searching for content, uh, Google became a good resource. And uh, so, you know, there's endless amount of content I can, you know, use. Sometimes it's just about the content you're looking for to make that painting, you know, to bounce off that image in terms of that retranslation of the image. So, and then, you know, I just started, and, you know, I'm very obsessive when it comes to making art, so I, I get on a certain role or a certain point of focus. I don't stop until I've totally exhausted it, until I'm just bored with it. And I haven't gotten bored yet, so yeah, it's just the obsessiveness of being the artist. Okay. And me not being an artist, could you explain to me your medium? Uh, it's uh, basically it's acrylic paint on uh, canvas, unstretched okay. canvas. Uh, I I tacked my canvas up on this particle board in my studio. It's like kind of tanning a hide, if you will. And uh, so once I got it stretched, I approach it as a painting, you know, and leave off another section around the image itself to where you're able to stretch it if you want. Okay. Primarily, when I'm finished, I just take it off the particle board, it's stable, and then somebody buys that, just roll it up and put it in the mm -hmm. tube and ship it out to them. You know? Okay. Yeah. Okay, if, and if somebody wanted to contact you to purchase some art, as I'm going to say, purchase some art. Yeah. I uh, just want to get some information from you and yeah. I get well, some advice. How can I 
How can I contact you? Well, definitely through Space Gallery here. Okay. Christina and Pomona. She's representing for the time this body of work. Mm -hmm. Or you can reach me at www.larrycavini, C A V as in Victor, E N E Y, dot org, where you'll see you know, the whole array of categories. You'll see categories such as, you know, paintings about monsters, paintings about cowboys, paintings about guys that wear big hats and talk to God, those kind of things. Okay. Various categories of things. Paintings about Batman. Yeah. Super freaks, you know, a, a, a whole variety of things, wow. many different directions. And you're located in San Diego. San Diego, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was born in San Diego. Yeah, I, we live in North Park. Yeah, I live in the other. I used to live in the other part, the, uh, towards the the exit right before Chula Vista. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, so right, right. yeah, That's we've been good. there since uh, 2000. Wow. Well, I moved I'm, out here from Asheville, North Carolina. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So how you how you enjoyed it out here? Oh, I totally dig it. Yeah, I really like it. There's yeah. a lot more opportunities here. Exactly. That's yeah. that's right here. Yeah. Well, you know, you're definitely an inspiration to the uh, artists out there that want to get into this, and uh, cool. and basically, what advice would you give an upcoming artist? Uh, you know, if you want to make it, just keep making it. Make art, you know. And, don't really listen to a lot of people. You know, just think about what you want to do and what's inspiring you and move in that direction. And uh, you know, that'll take care of it. You know, as long as you have the passion, just listen to your heart, listen to your passion, and move in that direction. You know, and it's not always money that sustains you. It's you know, the idea of doing something that uh, you find rewarding in your life. The things that you love. Yeah. Basically. Mm -hmm. Well, Larry, thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to uh, to speak to, to me. Right it's my pleasure, and I'm looking forward to seeing more of your work. Good deal. And uh, once again, thanks so much. Yes, thank you.